So welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you guys around this Ford F-350. And as I said in the last video I did an unveiling. I wanted to just do a quick walk around for you. Show you the truck. Now this is going to be a Lariat. Now it's still up for debate. I don't know if this is a true trimmer. Because when you look at this front air dam. And this one has the 20 inch wheels. Which you can always switch wheels off. Sometimes guys don't like the smaller wheels. And I get that. But my friend said it was a true trimmer. He thinks it is. Um... But nevertheless, the dealership he bought it from told him it was. But normally if you do see a trimmer, you don't have the larger air dam. It does come with 18 inch wheels. So those are the only two things that I could see. And this one actually clears the 35 by 12 and a half. So this is gonna be a 2021. So it does have the smaller screen, but it does have the black appearance, which looks absolutely amazing. And I wanted to show you guys the truck before I start toying with it and doing other reviews. But under the hood of this one, it does have the 6.7 power stroke, so I'll show that to you here in a second. But one thing I like about this one, because it is an option on the Lariat, is it does have the full LED headlights. And they really do light up the road pretty well. I like the accent lights for the daytime running lights. And the Ford badge in this black and like silverish color looks really, really great. Tow hooks. And I just noticed, I was telling my wife, I said, I don't think this truck has front parking sensors, so be careful when you drive it. And I'm glad I told her that because there are no front parking sensors on this one. But off to the side, this one does have the 20 inch wheel. And this is a BF Goodrich. A lot of people did uh, comment in one of my videos that I did on tires about this one. And I agree with you guys, this is a great looking tire. And it's really aggressive rides really great and this is going to be a 35 by 12 and a half it's a 121 r so i'll do a video on that so just keep that in mind ford does do a solid front axle and i think that's really good for towing even though i know it doesn't make sense because most of the weight goes to the back but it does help with the steering feel in my opinion this one has a tow mirrors that are power extendable lights on the mirrors too you have some accent lights turn signals now if you do get a short bed because this is what this is classified as you will get a 34 gallon fuel tank i believe the def size is uh seven gallons but i'll be sure to put it in the video for you too i can never remember all these numbers this one does have leaf springs out back and because it's a 350 they do give you this additional overload leaf spring so can't wait to test that out to see how well it does going down the road. And out back, LED tail lights and reverse lights, turn signals the whole nine. And this does have the blind spot monitoring. I do like the fact that this one has the assisted tailgate. This tailgate is really heavy. And I think it's heavy because of this step here. Um, it's a pretty cool function. Because I have a fifth wheel, I don't think I would ever care to have this. I don't think I would really use it because I don't really carry stuff in the bed. Now, Ford does give you a seven and a four pin connector. I don't really see much four connectors really anymore, but it's good that they give it to you if you have an older trailer. This one does have the LED lights and the fifth wheel prep package, which comes with this plug too. You do have a seven and a four pin connector for your conventional hitch. Now something unique about this truck is this is a three inch class five receiver and neither of the other two have this. So this is the biggest hitch in the game. You get this with the F-350 power stroke and then check out the weight capacity. It's 21,200 pounds, 2,100 pounds for max tongue weight. That is insane. Um, I don't even know of a trailer yet that has that kind of capacity, but of course, you know there's some that in the commercial side of things. You do have a light out back too for your conventional hitch and then your backup camera. And there's still some chrome accents on this blackout. That's pretty interesting that Ford did that. And this one does have the rear parking sensors. Has the exhaust. I do like the way it looks too. It looks pretty cool. And I like the wheel design too. Great looking uh, rig for sure. So here it is, 
This is going to be the Power Stroke. This was revised for 2020. Really, this whole truck was refreshed from 2017. But they did up the power in the Power Stroke to 475 horsepower, 1,050 pound feet of torque. So, ridiculous power coming out of this thing. And we are going to do a drive today, too. But it's made it to a 10 speed. First gear is just insanely deep. I want to say it's actually class leading to over. Uh, GM and Ram um, and I didn't I don't know if I mentioned out back this does have a 331 rear axle too but this thing puts down the power strong and it really does lead a lead the HD market with power it's just insane it's still faster than the Ram even the Ram did up their torque it's still faster uh, I will do a drag race of my Ram to show you guys a comparison so that should be something interesting for you guys Alrighty, so one thing about the Ford is the interior definitely could use a refresh, uh, but it was done back in 2017, so to be fair, uh, it was already redesigned before the other two, but still it has a nice look to it. Um, I think the interior looks timeless for the most part, and I like the fact that they do give you nice little wood accents, a little bit of chrome inside the interior. If you get the black appearance, you got to get the black interior. That's pretty much across the board. Now, this one has the power steps below, which do come in handy if you are a little bit shorter. You can drop the tailgate, and here's all your lighting. And as I mentioned, there's these LED lights on the mirrors, too, that you can turn on. Now, opening the door is pretty unique, too. You don't have a door handle. And in the comment section, do you like this if you're a Ford owner? I'm still getting used to it, I guess. You do not have automatic up and down rear, but you do have automatic up and down for the front windows. You can power pull the mirrors, which is a good feature, and it does do it automatically for you too. And you can power extend them too if you want to tow. This one does have a power telescoping steering wheel. And here are your seat controls. So it goes up and down in the back, front, like that. And then your back, you can recline if you like. And then your lumbar. The lumbar support is pretty good in the truck too. Now this one does not have any running boards. And I'm 6'1", so I don't really care. But my wife, she would definitely care. And as you guys can see, I like that kick plate. Looks like a black chrome. <clears throat> now I apologize, I've been living in this truck for a little bit. So you have to excuse my mess. But let's go ahead and start it up. Alrighty, so I didn't mention, but this does have three seat controls too, here on the side. There you go. And just check out the dash too. A lot of stitching, a lot of leather. Good attention to detail overall. Now, this is less than stellar, but in the 2022, they did update this system. So you have the bigger screen, I believe it's a 12 incher and it definitely came at the right time now over front and center you do have your uh driver information as i call it and let's see let's go to the main one so this is your view they call it my view and you can pretty much configure the screen however you like so that's something about this rig is it is pretty customizable and then it shows you some of the options that you have right there. It's not a lot, but hey, it's just good stuff if you wanna really like hone in on what you want. One thing I like too is you can actually see where that steering wheel is pointing at with the off-road um, right there in the center. It's like a nice feature to have if you're going off-road. And then your fuel economy. And then this is your trip one. Now you do have your trip one and trip two on the next one if you swipe over with this arrow. And not much to see there, so this is the one you really wanna see. So here's a gauge view. Something I wanna see from Ford is really showing everything in one spot, like your transmission, your oil, your coolant, and even your oil pressure. Those are all great things. This is for your tires, and then your digital speedometer, engine hours, and it shows you your engine oil. 
that, and as I mentioned, just having it all in one spot. I just like it better that way. And the transmission temp. And then here's a few other features here. I do like this. This diesel exhaust fluid, it does show you the miles too. So I was at about 5,500 miles a little while ago, but I was towing my trailer a little bit just to get a feel for it. And it did definitely pull it down from 55 down to 4,000. So, and I was doing some wide open throttle, which really does hurt the DEI. Yeah. Now keep on moving over. You have your towing. So if you set up a trailer, I did set mine up and I'll show a video on this too. It shows the fiber, 15.1 MPGs at 102 miles so that's that can't be right I think this was off um, when I did do it at the pump and again that's another video coming too so off-road you just saw this and then you can configure this screen however you like I do like that they do give you the blind spot cross traffic rear park aids inside of this system here um, and when you're going to hook up the trailer it does disable it'll like actually allow you to disable like the rear parking sensors this is a really good thing that way you don't have to look for it now obviously you do have some driving modes too you have normal to haul eco slippery deep snow and sand and your full wheel drive system is off to the side here trailer brake i'm not going to spend too much time on this screen because this screen i mean it's it's been shown many of times but it is really functional you can do apple carplay your exhaust brake traction control downhill assist and of course these are cautions audio controls and you have your climate controls down below this is good for me because i don't like to fumble through looking for stuff these cooled seats work pretty good too by the way you do have a charging station down below with some usbs type a and type c and off to the side you have some power plugs very useful by the way and in here is all junky but this is all your storage and these seats overall are pretty comfortable a little bit of small storage inside of there and then down below your glove box now let's go out back and i'll show you guys the rear seat so out back you guys can see you do have some storage with the kids actually left their stuff in here but uh really nice design on the door place for some water bottles under the seat you can create a storage area by unlocking this and then pulling this up here this been, that's been shown many of times and in order to put the seat back down you have to pull this and it'll fall back in place there is some power plugs some usbs good stuff there's two type a type c this is a type a the small one type c is a larger one and then you have an actual power plug air vents for your rear occupants and flat floor surface looks great and that's pretty much it and i didn't mention this up front but you do have led lights front and rear too which is a good accent i didn't give that to you on all trim levels too which is nice now you guys know what i'm about to do next i always show you the numbers for every truck because it's very important if you are looking to tow and based off the options and features you have in this one it's going to affect your payload now again i apologize in advance i could not find a window sticker and i meant to mention it earlier but i went online and you have to pay for it and i'm not it's not that important to me so front girls axe weight rating is going to be 5,990 pounds the rear is going to be 7,230 pounds gross vehicle weight rating is going to be 11,500 pounds and then all in your payload capacity is going to be 3,392 pounds. So this one did come with 20 inch wheels. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive and then that will effectively end the video. I do like the way this truck drives overall. Now that I've been driving for a couple of days now, it, it does handle well. And what I've learned, because I added 35s to my Ram, they're 295.65s with this basically 35 inch tire. 35 rides so much better than any other size below it. I feel like 35 is that sweet spot. You're gonna lose some fuel economy most likely, but I think it's worth the sacrifice if you can afford it. I think that you know, when I first got this one on the highway, I was I was really shocked by how well it drove. I've driven Forge in the past with 18 inch wheels, uh, standard tires, but 
this one takes the cake and I'm talking about the F-250s. It's better riding than those. So if you can afford the 35s and you don't mind the sacrifice, I would definitely 100% take this one with the you know, taller tire. And these are 35 by 12 and a half. So if you have good rich KO2s on fire, you guys were 100% correct. That's what I love about the comment section. If you're new to my channel, there's a lot of guys on my channel that have like a lot of good information. I learn more from them than I could ever learn online. So if you're new, you better subscribe and just subscribe just for the comment section. Seriously, like that's why you subscribe to this channel because a lot of people have good information. But I mean, th there's no noise. Like there's legitimately no noise from these tires and they're so aggressive, which is not normal for these types of tires. I am gonna do some impressions on the RPM, things like that for you guys. I won't do that in this video, but overall, the ride quality is great. You can hear the power stroke when it accelerates. The transmission is strong. You don't really feel it shift. Exhaust brake. Eh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but interior is okay. Um, it's definitely better than GM's. I, I, I'll be honest with you there. It's definitely better than GM's, but it's still behind Ram. I think Ford's gonna really have to do better. Even on that F-150, it's nice. I feel like it's nicer in some instances, but it's still not nicer than Ram's, in my opinion. I think that Ram still takes the cake. Uh, and right now, Ford's winning when it comes down to the power aspect of it. This truck is powerful. And it's just something that you have to go and experience. If you're in the market, I say this a lot, you're you're dumb not to go and check every truck out. You're just being dumb. I know that some people love brand loyalty. I'm a huge Ram fan, but I would definitely, when it's time, I'm gonna price out all three. I'm not gonna go out and buy another Ram because, oh, I have to buy a Ram because I'm a Ram fan. No, that doesn't matter. You have to go out, drive them all, you know, look at them, research your price them, and then make the decision because I think that's really what makes a, a great buy. I, and again, if you still like what you like, then that's, that's okay too. I might do that also. I might go back to a Ram just because I just feel right at home in it. And that's kind of what I feel right now. I, I like this truck, but it's just, it's just not 100% me yet, you know? But overall, my family seems to like it. And I can't wait to show you the towing videos because we've done a couple. Like I said, I want to get those in quickly because before I start you know, doing any videos on it, I want to make sure that like I got my thoughts together, but be sure to subscribe to the channel. That'll pretty much effectively end this video. We got more content coming on this truck, guys. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you soon.